Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Today, we want to talk about things. And stuff. Yeah, maybe a bit of this and that. Specifically today, we wanted to talk about how to find a good coach. Yeah, because there's not just like a Yelp for life coaches. You got to mm -hmm. like do a bit of research, I guess, look into them. It's really hard to find someone you connect with. It's a very personal thing. Yes. So babe, how do you find a good life coach? Over the years, we've worked with several different coaches in different arenas of our life, and we continue to do so. Um, we are firm believers that working <laughs> with a good coach is incredibly invaluable and it definitely fast tracks your progress in whatever area you're looking to succeed in or evolve in. Mm -hmm. Two heads are better than one, especially if one of those heads has more experience than you. Yes, but the key to this is finding a good coach and there's a few different ways um, or a few, a few different things that make a good coach in our opinion. Yeah. One, somebody who can create the results that you're looking for or help you create the results that you're looking for. Yeah. It's obviously one thing, but outside of that, a big thing is, is it somebody that you relate to? Do you, do you actually like that person? Yeah. The best coach in the world can't get you anywhere if you hate them. And every time they say anything, you're just like, oh, of course you'd say that. Yeah. I know for me personally, um, if I am looking at hiring a coach for something in particular, and let's say I'm looking at like three or four or five different coaches and maybe one of them is, you know, a bit more standout in terms of the results that they're creating. Maybe they're better at communicating what kind of results they can get their clients or what kind of transformations they've offered. Maybe it appears that they have more experience. Um, but at the end of the day, if I relate and trust and like one of the other coaches more, even if they met, maybe necessarily don't have the same track record or experience or um, like results to share, I will probably go with the coach that I like more versus yeah. the one that has more testimonials. You know what I mean? And it's not that that's not important too, Definitely. but I want to work some with somebody that I like, that I jive with, that I match on an energetic level and that I look forward to working with. I do not want to dread working with my coach. Exactly. I will always choose the person that I like and trust over the person that says um, they can do X, Y, Z. All things being equal, obviously. Yes. So I'm actually on the hunt right now to find somebody um, to coach me on how to read tarot and to help me in, in, to further develop my intuitive gifts. So what does my process look like right now? I share this with you because somebody asked us on the last live we did and I'm currently in the middle of doing it. So she says the last live we did as if we've done more than one. Yeah. <laughs> the first and last live that we did. Well, it might not be the last. First we'll and only do. up to the time of the filming of this video. Yeah. We'll probably do more. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. So what I'm doing right now is I already follow a few different coaches in that niche market, you know, tarot readers, intuitive, um, coaches, people who have developed their, um, their mediumship skills and stuff like that and who are farther along in the process obviously than I am and there's a few that are interesting I find and entertaining to watch and give good information but I'm finding I don't necessarily connect with them there's some that are very down to earth and that I connect with really well and I've already had conversations with them um, and voice messaged a little bit back and forth in the DMs there's one that I've actually reached out to already. She's not necessarily as active as some other coaches I've seen in her industry. However, um, she is she is still active. She's regularly on there. I know that she's keeping in touch with her clients and I personally love her energy. I connect with her. She's not too high or too strong of an energy for me. I'm a little more um, grounded and down to earth. I'm a Virgo, so I'm not like an excessive amount of energy. I'm not a high energy person so trying to work with somebody who's super high energy can oftentimes be a little overwhelming for me um so i've reached out to her and i'm booking a free discovery call to chat with her further you're and see Virgo? yeah i've been calling you valerie for like oh eight my years. gosh you're such a smart butt <laughs> i know you know i'm a virgo <laughs> and i'm an asparagus uh, you are a capricorn <laughs> yep unicorn <laughs> my unicorn um, so that's kind of my thought process is that I'm looking at a few different coaches in the niche or in the area that I'm looking for. I'm looking to see who I relate to and who I connect with. And then from there, I'm booking discovery calls. So when you're looking for a coach, I would probably recommend the same thing. Look for somebody that you know, like, and trust somebody that you've been following. If it's somebody you just came across, binge watch all their stuff. Typically mm -hmm. if it's on Instagram, they'll have like highlights, you know, where you can learn more about them and what they do and their client transformations and stuff like that. 
um, or if it's on YouTube, you can binge watch their YouTube videos, however you found them. I would binge watch their content if they're new to you to get a feel for like what their style is and how they communicate and, and what they're all about to see if they're a good fit. Um, and then I would reach out and ask them for a discovery call. Even if it's not listed in their bio or on their website anywhere, most good, a good coach will do a free yeah. call. A, a good coach will definitely want to have an opportunity to get to know you first because mm -hmm. as much as I don't want to be coached by someone I don't like, a coach doesn't want to coach someone they don't like and they don't exactly. connect with. hundred percent. Like I know for Cody and I, if we're just doing like a one-off um, like a mindset reset call or something that's mm -hmm. you know quick and fast and impactful um, we're okay with doing those without doing a, a pre-qualification call first because they're not a long-term commitment and typically it's just like it's it's a one-off sort of thing um, and the people who are looking for it are typically our ideal client anyways mm -hmm. however if somebody's looking to work with us on a one-to-one -one level this is long term it's typically three months or longer mm -hmm. we're looking to create like a real relationship with these people in depth get to know them get our hands into their life and business yeah we want to be on your team we want to have your back we want to have your best interest at heart mm -hmm. and regardless of how good someone's intentions are if you don't like them it's just yeah. it, like if you don't connect like maybe you don't wish ill will on them you're not trying to do bad you're just no. not giving it a hundred percent and they mm -hmm. deserve a hundred percent a hundred percent yeah I agree with that. Um, so that's why we have an application. We don't let people for one-on-one -on -one coaching just sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's an application that gets filled out first, and then we do a free call, which is typically 30 to 60 minutes, somewhere in and around there, um, so that we can figure out if it's somebody that we want to work with and somebody who we actually believe that we can help in the way that they're looking to be helped, mm -hmm. and vice versa, so that they can figure out if they like us, if they resonate with us, if they want to work with us. It goes two ways. Relationships are very important. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the coaching coachy relationship is paid. That that's the point of the life coaching industry. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't want to waste your money. If if we don't think we can help you, we're not just gonna wing it for you know six months or a year and soak up the money. It's exactly like we're we're just not like that. Exactly. Um, another way that you can um, look for a coach if you're in the market trying to find somebody is if you already have a coach in your life either that you're working with or that you've built a relationship with or maybe just somebody you've been following for a little while and you know that you like them, I would reach out to them and ask them if they know anybody in the area that you're looking to improve upon, right? Like our focus is life coaching, life purpose coaching um, and business and entrepreneurship. So if somebody came to us and said, hey, um, I'm looking for somebody who can teach me how to read tarot or develop my intuitive gifts like I'm looking to do right now We would not be the coaches for you at least not at this point at some no. point I would like to go down that Avenue myself personally, um, but I'm not there yet. So But we would know people probably that we could direct you to or if you were looking for somebody to coach you on how to develop your public speaking skills or graphic design or mm -hmm. uh, branding or something like that, something outside of a niche that, of the coach that you're already in touch with, um, ask them because we network all the time. Yeah. Every coach networks all the time. We have like a huge group and pool of, of people that we can pull from. And again, a good coach isn't going to direct you to somebody who's not gonna be good at what they do. Yeah, and if you do find you connect with an individual coach that doesn't teach the things you're trying to learn, birds of a feather flock together. They mm -hmm. probably know someone who is similar to them yeah. um, in terms of like personality and how they connect and so forth that if they know someone in the niche you're looking for, you might connect with them as well. So yeah. reach out and ask. Yeah, so I think those are probably my biggest tips is like stalk the coaches that you want to work with, binge watch all their content, figure out if you even like them, mm -hmm. reach out to them, ask for a free discovery call if they don't already have it available to book on their website. Um, if you follow a coach that you like that isn't in the niche that you're looking to get coaching on, ask them or look at who they follow and see if you can find people like other coaches in the niche that you want to learn. Yeah. Um, cause the show socials show you who people follow. Yes. Another thing you can do too, is you can also look up YouTube videos or maybe even Skillshare classes or Udemy classes or something mm -hmm. like that on what you're looking to learn. YouTube would probably be a good place to start or even like looking at hashtags on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And if you come across content that you find helpful and beneficial, beneficial, beneficial? Yes, beneficial. Why, why am I having trouble saying that word? <laughs> beneficial. Um, and you relate to the person who's providing that content, um, go to their profile and see like, what does the rest of the content look like? Is it all similar? And do you like them? And then reach out to that person. That's, it's like 
Google searching for a coach, but on yeah, social exactly. media. Yeah, the socials are great for that. And we live in the day and age of just information everywhere. And most coaches will have some form of programs and stuff out there that you can search up. Mm -hmm. um, very likely they'll have some sort of a free... Like a master class or yeah, webinar. Yeah, like a, a free master class or webinar or like some videos up, content um, that you can, like Val said, binge watch and just see if it's what you're looking for. See if you connect with their teaching style, their personality. Because mm -hmm. that's really what it is, is just, is there a connection there? Because you're not going to be helped by someone that you don't connect with. Yeah. No matter how hard either of you try. And another thing that you can do too, is if you found somebody that you like and you want to work with them, but maybe you can't afford to work with them in a one-on-one -on -one capacity, or you can't afford any of their, like if they have group coaching programs or something like that, because typically coaches will have like different tiers and different um, mm -hmm. price points and stuff that they'll work with people at. If you're not finding something that you can afford right now, or you're not comfortable investing in that coach right now, I would still reach out to them and say like, hey, I'm interested in working with you, but I'm not 100% convinced yet, or like I'm not 100% sold on it. Do you have another way mm -hmm. that I can work with you? Because a lot of the times, again, a good coach will, maybe they'll offer you like a one-off session for a significantly discounted price, you know, or they will say, I don't have anything right now, but I have like a an online course that I did that I put together that I'm not currently selling, but I can give you access to it for like $29 or something, right? Like yeah, you never for know. Whatever reasonable price. A lot of times a coach will work with you yeah. because we do do this to help people. Yeah. And so that lets you get in and understand how that coach teaches, what their coaching style is, and if they're even going to benefit you in learning what you want to. And it's at a much lower risk to you up front because mm -hmm. it's a much lower cost. Again, investing in yourself and getting a coach can be incredibly scary uh, we know because we've done yeah. it we've invested more than once when we didn't have any money to invest mm -hmm. um, and it always pays off like it, it is always worth it in yeah. the end you are the best investment you'll ever make if you look at it just in terms of money mm -hmm. the more you improve yourself the more you improve your ability to earn more money that's way better than putting money in the bank at x percent returns yeah so i think that's about the best tips and advice that I can think of right now. And mm -hmm. if you guys still have questions, if you're struggling to find somebody you're not you're not sure where to look or how to be looking, if you still have questions, feel free to hit us up on Instagram. It's linked down below in the description. You can shoot me a DM and we will help you figure out what you're looking for and who you can go to for it. Yeah, um, exactly. It doesn't have to be with us. Like we will not be offended if you come yeah. to us and you're like, hey, I'm looking for X, Y, Z, but I don't want, Yeah. I don't think you can do it. That's yeah, cool. His, his beard looks stupid. I don't want to deal with him. Like I said, relationships are important. So if you don't necessarily yeah. relate to us, but you're looking for a coach in another realm, let me know and we're more than happy to help. Um, and otherwise, let us know in the comments below. Did these tips help you? Did you find a coach? Yeah. What would, are you looking to find a coach in? I would assume the tips would help because they're the tips that we use to find all of our coaches. Yes. So, yeah. Anything else to add? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Cool. Yeah. That's it, guys. We hope this was helpful. So, if you found value in the video, drop us a like. That is ridiculously helpful mm -hmm. here on the YouTubes. Yes. Um, leave a comment, like Val said, if there's anything you want clarification on or if you just want to share some insights of your own. Um, but other than that, until next time, thanks for joining us. We love you guys very much. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.